Hello everyone. Uh, have you ever heard of uh, this, uh, job scheduler or task scheduler in Windows or in Linux like uh, cron jobs? So Oracle also have a job scheduler known as <coughs> within a package known as DBMS scheduler. So I'll be creating a job scheduler. Okay, with a function called, procedure called create job. Within which is within the DB, uh, package DBM scheduler. So here are the parameters <coughs> which has been used uh, for DBM scheduler. Okay, so name of the procedure package is DBM scheduler. So I will um, create a uh, created a block here. I will execute this block. <coughs> so the first uh, one is start with the begin, then DBM scheduler dot create job. The first parameter is job name, which is I have given M table starts. Job type is PLS school block. I will, you can also use a procedure or function instead of PLS school block. You can call any function as a scheduler job. So job name equal to M table starts. Job type equal to PLS school block. Job action. Within the job action, what are, what we are going to do? Just a moment. Than this one. Within the job action, we will write the PLS school block. This block can be a smaller block or it can be a larger block, maybe one page, two page, whatever. Okay, so you can write a block within this job action. So I have written a block like first we begin, then DBMS stats dot gather table stats, name of the schema is HR, name of the table is employee master, <coughs> and end. Then start date. Start date is 30 October 2016, and time is I set the time as say 2:45. Okay, PM. Sorry, 2:45 PM, and time zone is Asia Calcutta. Repeat interval every day. Frequency daily. End date 31st December 2000. You can give any end date. Uh, I mean, and it can be an abstract date. I mean, some date very. If you want to keep it a longer time, or if you want to just uh, keep the scheduler, say for suppose one week or one or two weeks, uh, so job is uh, just type uh, of that type. You can set that date also. <coughs> the time zone is the same. Enable equal to true. You can make enable equal to false if you don't want to start the scheduler right now. And you can set a comments like gather table statistics. End. So I'll first <coughs> create this job scheduler. Since I don't have uh, any sys privilege, system privilege, that's why I will log in as sysdba and run this script. So procedure completed successfully. So now we will check about whether the procedure is added properly. I mean whether the schedule is added. So for that we need to run one SQL. So as I created this uh, <coughs> scheduler in Sys database, that's why I'll check it in Sys database. Okay, sorry, uh, DBA. Okay, so I'll give here where job name 
equal to int table stats okay I have to give in capital letter or you can add one lower function here In table stats, job subname, job title, okay, number of arguments, schedule owner. Schedule type calendar, given frequency daily. Okay, so this is a start date, and there is a field called enabled. You just look into that. Enabled equal to true. Okay, so now what we will do. We go dbms scheduler dot disable imp table stats <coughs> run this one Oh, sorry, uh, this is a fun procedure. So you have to add one exe. Execute. Anonymous block completed successfully. Now I will go here and run this again and check for the disable field. Enable will be false. Enable equal to false. So if you want to again want to enable it, you have to just remove and enable. Anonymous block completed successfully. Okay. So let us again check again. <coughs> Best thing is you can create one block table. Whenever this program will run, you can create one block table to confirm whether the program is running. I will also show there is also one database uh, table in log table scheduler log where you can see how many times this is executed okay I think I've skipped I mean cross the file the system is a little slow okay so yeah enabled equal to true Select start from DBS scheduler job log where job name equal to M table stats. If you don't find any log, that means no, I mean it is not executed still. Okay. So, for that, what we are going to do, we are going to set some, you can, you can set some current time. Okay. Maybe the time has given it executed. So, you can monitor the job log from here you will get all the job executed here if it is frequency daily so daily there will be a one log added to this ok so now tell me I want to tell you one thing if you have now I will create the same scheduler on a local table I mean local schema that is HRHR okay okay so it's all the same because uh, for the last scheduler uh, what happened <coughs> it is created in sys database so we are using dba underscore scheduler so here it is completed now okay so uh, let us do one thing 
let us drop this one dbms drop job this is for dropping this is for removing the scheduler object stats sorry exec dbms scheduler dot sorry drop job imp So now we will copy this one. Okay, we will change the time. Now the time is three. We will make it three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Copy this. paste it here now I will go to my skill developer select star from user last time used dbs scheduler I yeah, reckon all scheduler or user scheduler all sc user scheduler jobs I hope it will show only one because I have only created one job Okay, so <coughs> the same way you can disable, enable, rest of the thing is same like user scheduler, uh, dbms scheduler dot enable, dbms scheduler dot disable. Now we will see, I don't know, maybe uh, there should be, might be some one mistake that my time zone is not properly set. If it does not show the log after 3.25, that means maybe my time scheduler have not set it properly. Time zone. Okay, as I told you, see, uh, I've just changed the time to 3.22 uh, because I <coughs> not want to wait. So, what is the result? Status is succeeded. The job run. Okay. So, these are all the so you can get from this log uh, every day when the job set schedule will run on this time a log will be added here and you can get the details of the log okay you can see the time is given here uh, it is uh, 252 something like that okay maybe it's, it's taking some other another time Okay, I can say as you can see, I mean some other time zone is showing showing here. So as I mentioned, Asia Calcutta, so it will be showing uh, taking this time 3:25. So it's, it's on 3:22. So if you go here, you can see I have set it to 3:22. I've dropped it again and recreated in 3:22. Okay, so <coughs> this is uh, all about. This is uh, how you can create one scheduler. You can create any maybe some log activity some database refresh I mean some table statistics refresh okay you can do any kind of database job schedule any kind of data which you do regularly or cleaning up some log files okay so that is all about the basic of this scheduler okay I hope I will come up with a more advanced tutorial on scheduler uh, adding more uh, using more features more different functionalities so for this tutorial and that's all about and i hope you like it if you like it do press like button and subscribe to my channel and to please do ask me <coughs> if you have any doubt in any section of this tutorial thank you very much